Good morning, I'm Lucy. Uh, it's great to be here with you this morning, sharing God's word and um, some thoughts around the act and meaning of forgiveness. I don't know about you, but having been brought up in a house with siblings when I was younger, having to say sorry was a part of everyday life, whether I wanted to or not. I often fought with my two brothers and looking back, my parents would ask me to say sorry to them and vice versa. It's not only within family relationships, but in the society that we live and work in that we're often asked to say sorry when we do things wrong. We may harm someone else by word or deed. And the world recognises saying sorry and being forgiven as a very powerful thing to do. As Christians, forgiveness is a fundamental part of our faith, to be forgiven and to forgive others. The Lord's Prayer reads, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And maybe that's how you used to say it in school. Now, sometimes we will say, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. To forgive others is a powerful and releasing thing to do. And it's what Jesus asks us to do. The words in the Lord's Prayer that I just read out echo the verse in Mark chapter 11, verse 25, where Jesus says, when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him or her so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins. God promises that when we come to him, confessing our sin and asking for forgiveness, he freely grants it to us because of what Jesus has done for us, taking our place and dying on the cross, carrying our sins. We are forgiven today because of Jesus. Just remember that. The importance of forgiveness is also shown in the destructiveness of unforgiveness. When people choose not to forgive others and instead choose unforgiveness, then it causes all kinds of additional pain. It is so often the ultimate cause of so many broken relationships. Unforgiveness means that all of the hurt that was caused in the first place continues to grow and prevents restoration. Sadly, when someone chooses not to forgive, and holds on to unforgiveness, it will always be them, they themselves that will suffer the most and hurt the most. Unforgiveness prevents us from moving forward and prevents us from being everything that God has called us to be. So as we think about forgiveness today, and I guess unforgiveness, um, know that you are forgiven in him and there is someone, if, sorry, if there is someone who you need to ask forgiveness from or whom you need to forgive ask God to reveal that person or persons to you now and just spend a little bit of time in prayer over this don't forget that forgiveness can bring new life and where there is new life there is hope so circumstances and things that have happened can change and God can bring restoration to you and others through the power of forgiveness have a great day, whatever time of day you're listening to this. I hope you can just find a few minutes to, like I said, just spend a bit of time asking God about forgiveness and dwelling upon that and ultimately know that you are forgiven and you are loved. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye.